We got some ice cream news, huh? Ice cream news, well, that's right. I, ice cream, ice cream gas. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You know what you it is. Mean? You're you're not ready for this. Odd fellow, shout out to the homies. They're yes. launching nationwide shipping this Friday. What mm -hmm. better way to announce this? You know, our first capsule drop, the bodega capsule. That's right. Got him. You know what I mean? Head to our website now for more info. This is ice cream, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And uh, right. we're highly lactose intolerant, so we ate lactate before this. We suggest you do it too because it is fucking delicious. This is bacon, egg, and cheese flavor. Look at this. Look at that. You that's not regular. That's not regular bacon. It's not a bacon, egg, and cheese. You know what I'm saying? This is candied bacon. It's eggs. Look at that. Look at that. We're going to take a sample right now. Look at it. Oh, shit. <laughs> that is really good. That is really good. Yo. Mm -hmm. Yo. I feel like I you did it. You did it. Yo, listen. I was And I was like, yo, I'm ready for this shit to be foul, but it's not. So it's did delicious. I. Oh, I was shit. like, it's going to be good on some weird, like, artisanal. No, this is really good. Listen. Yeah, this is good. They nailed it. <laughs> we got bacon, egg, and cheese, and ice cream. The future Damn. is now. All right? Damn, I'm dead sober. I'm dead sober. This shit is delicious. So be sure to head over to the homies at Oddfellows Ice Cream. You right. can order this in other flavors, and they're shipping nationally. So you can get it. Yes. You don't have to be here. You don't have to walk here to the Bronx and go onto 137th Street and order it from Poppy. You can order it from the safety of your house. And then also, you know, you can it's Sucio Ice Cream. So you can be a Sucio it's boy. Sucio Ice Cream. You know? And it's for a good cause, too, because part of the proceeds goes to Legal Aid NYC. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Legal so Aid, which out. helps people. Helps you get public offenders. Lord knows I needed one back in the day. So we're going to you know help people who are going to need it in the future. Same. Just cop some odd fellows, you know. Go home and eat it while you're watching your wife do something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You start with the cream and with the cream. You know what I'm saying? There you go. There you go. What other flavors are there? There's mm. uh, Chico Stick. Bodega Counter Crunch. You got that right there. Bodega Counter Crunch, Chico Sticks, Budget Breakfast, mm -hmm. Hosted Cupcakes, and Bacon, Egg, and Cheese! Bacon, Egg, and Cheese is one word. Go. Don't disrespect and break it into other words. It's one word. No. It's a compound word. They taught you that in second grade. But yeah, that's the ice cream. Be sure to go check them out. Treat yourself. Have some. Or else you're going you're gonna to be sick when all your friends are eating it online. You know what I mean? I have mm -hmm. to show you this headline then. I have fear of missing out. Starbucks. Oh, wow. The PSL is back, y'all. You know, it Pumpkin Spice <laughs> Latte returns on Tuesday. The earliest Karen ever. Only. The view for the iconic autumn, autumn, no, um, <laughs> autumn, autumn, no, autumn, no, autumn, 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 while everybody else is busy fixing the government. Think about it. You know what I'm saying? They'll be in line. Karen, 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 public science line. Hey, Karen, Karen, Karen. They're all going to be busy. The PSL, dog. You know the PSL. This is the PS5 mm -hmm. for, I guess, uh, you know, people who like coffee. Does the public science latte, is it still bang like that? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think it ever did, honestly. Know. Did you guys watch this on C-SPAN? Oh, hey, yeah. The Joint Defense USPS changes as Democrats attack disaster. Face your mail delivery. Hm. Mr. DeJoy, is your backup plan Yo, to for be- for a second there, I thought he was going to say Mr. DeGiorno. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us. It's Do you swear it's not delivery? <laughs> Do you? Mr. DeJoy, is your backup plan to be pardoned like Roger Stone? Oh, God. He's like, yeah, <laughs> it is, as a matter of fact. How yeah, about it that? is. It is. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, so what? Shout out to the dramatic audience reaction. Was, like, there was good times. It was like, whoa. 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 God. <laughs> you have two seconds to answer the question. Oh, shit. Pressure. Oof. Yeah. And hey, he's laughing. He's laughing at like, ha, 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 yo, you got me. You got me. <laughs> he's laughing like, I hope Trump really does pardon me. Yeah. <laughs> yo, you heard that? Yo, Trumpito, you heard it, right? <laughs> you got me? <laughs> A first class postage stamp. 55 cents. <laughs> oh, snap, is that chick from Jesus and Mero. Oh, wow. Yo! Check. <laughs> what about to mail a postcard? I don't, I don't know, ma'am. Yeah, he didn't even try to Google it. No, I would've been like, um... To mail a postcard is approximately 50, Okay, all right. Your man just said, fuck it. He was like, fuck it. Yo! I'm not prepared for this test, I'm gonna fail. What up? What up, teacher? I don't care. 
Yo, you're the you're the you're the postmaster general, and you don't know how, how to send a postcard. Is that what shit? Yeah. Oh, like like so they didn't even ask like a high level question. Like, yo, how do you make stamps? They're just like, how much does a stamp cost? Yo, what's the difference between a business envelope and a and a regular letter? They're gonna be like, yo, next question, spell Manila. He's gonna be like, ah, fuck. Oh, oh fuck. shit. Oh, damn. Do you guys know how much a postcard costs? No. Probably like a dollar. It depends where you buy it. Does it, don't, like, don't, like, at the post office? Like, like a, a post stamp o- for a postcard. Oh, stamp oh. for a postcard? I don't know. I've been buying forever like, stamps. Yeah. You're evading the question, Mero. I mean, like, I haven't, since they <laughs> haven't been 52 cents, I have been buying forever stamps. <laughs> Well, I mean, also the question is like, how much, how much mail are you sending out? Like, right? Like, you know I mean? have stamp. Every now and then, I have to mail something. Like, it's like finding a stamp is a journey. I'm like, I know I have stamps in here. I just don't know where they are, so I just buy new stamps. But if you want to cripple someone right now in 2020, be like, yo, mail me something. They'll be like, first of all, I don't even think I have envelopes here. I don't have any random stamps laying around. It's gonna become a journey. Then I gotta go to the bodega to get stamps. It's ugh. It's a whole do you guys have checkbooks thing. still? I, I do. do. I do. I'm, 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 listen, I'm married and I'm washed. So I have envelopes, stamps, <laughs> a checkbook, a whole desk full of stationery, a stapler. I still have my check. I still have a checkbook, but it's for a bank that doesn't even exist. So <laughs> shout out to Commerce Bank. I, you held me down. <laughs> I can't, I can't throw them away because I have like, you know how they give you like 600, sta- uh, 600 checks? I only used maybe in a lifetime of an account, maybe like 40 checks. <laughs> so I have all these unlimited checks that have, uh, my home address for I want to say three apartments ago, but you know they're whimsical. I can't throw them away. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a capsule collection. Exactly. You know Catching on the next episode of Hoarders. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I used this check to buy Lauren Hill's first CD. <laughs> I throw out the checkbook. <laughs> I love it. it. Means so much to me. Yeah, Gen Z doesn't know about checks, right? At all. At all. At all, yo, you want to scare the shit out of a uh, out of like a, a cashier, or, like anybody, like under the age of forty, mm-hmm. pull out a check at the cash register, <laughs> and, and they'll be like, they get on the phone, like, uh, 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 manager, uh, manager, uh, aisle ten, manager to register ten, manager to register ten, please. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Is it if I'm online at the register and you pull out a check and you're before me, I am going to make the most dramatic, heavy sigh you've ever heard. You're like, I'll make sure everyone knows. I'm like, this guy! Oh my god! Yo, this, this nigga writing checks! Alright? <laughs> what? When the median age goes up in the community and you see more check writers. When I was in West Palm Beach, shout out to Judy, at Publix, mad check writing in that line, man! Yeah. I'm like, yo, I just want to get this sub and bounce! Why That's y'all right. writing checks? Like okay. yo, look, you see this little plastic thing? I just swipe it and go. That was me at yeah, West Palm Beach, cause that's where my parents live. At the Denny's, like <laughs> I ate, I was ready to go. And they were like, they were like, so it was like, what's the rush, boy? Hold on. I was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> so you're here from New York, is it? I'm like, <laughs> ah, okay. And I was like, what's Would the Wi-Fi? Like they were like, they was like, Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, you, you big city kids. I was like, this is a Denny's. Come on, you have this shit here, but no checks. Yeah. Only thing worse than checks is paying with pennies. Yo, for real. Well, there's a coin shortage now. So like they want you to pay with pennies, right? Wait, how is there a coin shortage? How is there a shortage? Like that means the people who have coins are the people who are supposed to have the coins, right? I got my coins. Do y'all not have coins in your house? I got mad coins. Exactly. There's not enough in circulation. (laughs) You got to spend them. Oh, so but how does that work? If we spend them, then we don't have any coins. Re- to repeat, I'm washed, so I have like the little part, like the little section of my wallet that I put change in, <laughs> and I give, I use exact change. Like if something's twelve thirty eight, I'm like, here's ten, here's the ten, two singles, three dimes, a nickel, and three pennies. Thank you. Okay, there's coin shortage. Everyone's talking about there's a coin shortage. There's a coin shortage. You know who's behind it? Franklin Mint. You remember them? Remember them? Yeah, They're always selling all the coins, edition. all the special, special uh, quarters that may or may not increase in value. They've been real quiet for a couple of years now. Now yeah. they're back with a new scam. Don't fall for it. There's plenty nah. of coins out there. There's plenty of coins. Go into a fountain. There are, you know where there's a lot of coins? Go on It's a Small World ride in Disney World. The water right. is super saturated with coins to the point they have to close the ride down every couple of weeks to scoop up the coins so it doesn't jam up the ride. 
There you go. Okay, Disney got coins, but he has up to me and my fellow Americans to get the economy restarted with our precious coins. I think not. I think not. Okay. You could also go to the Bronx Zoo because and and just take them off the top of the alligators because <laughs> for some reason people throw coins in the alligator exhibit even though there's a giant sign that says do not throw coins in the water it's poisonous to the animals. Oh boy. All right, economy boys. Um, economy, economy boys. boys. Yeah. Listen, uh, uh, uh. Listen, we learned from Steve Bannon. Saying? You know uh, what I mean? Dear. All right, you guys want to start the show? Let's start the show. <laughs> yeah, let's start it using cryptocurrency. <laughs>